All right, what we have here is a heat exchanger out of a tankless water heater. And what I want to do is just point out a few things about this water heater. And what we'll show you today is why it's so important that you do your plan maintenance on tankless water heaters. You want to take a look at what we found when we open this one up. Is it supposed to have all that in there? It's supposed to have none of that in there. Oh. So that is as a result of one of those tubes getting plugged because it wasn't maintained properly. And when you don't have proper water flow going through there to cool that heat exchanger, it loses its temper and it creates a hole. You can see that there was a hole in here and this is just water shooting directly onto the side after you know, you've got flames coming in through here. How old was that? Uh, this was less than a year. Wow. So it depends on how heavily it's used and how hard your water is. You can see the discoloration here. That's a, a sign that we've got an issue inside. So if you'll, if you can zoom up real close on this inlet, you're going to see in there that we've got a lot of calcium buildup, little chunks just floating around in there. And those aren't very thick, if you realize. That's just a channel. That's just a channel. So it plugs up for the water really easy. Through. Yep. You can see all the Beware white. That. That's caused from hard water. When you superheat hard water, you get lots of calcium and lime buildup. Uh, and when you have that occur in there, then you're going to slow the flow inside of that heat exchanger. And when you do that, you're going to burn out a spot in that heat exchanger. So it's important that you flush your uh, tankless water heaters every six months if you don't have a water softener and once a year if you do. Do you just flush it with water? No, you use a descaling chemical. And that gets rid of the And that hard. helps break down and pull out all that buildup.